Hey guys, welcome back. I'm um, going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to do a shed series. I haven't really come up with a name for it yet. That, that will come. But anyway, it's going to be along the lines of I've got a few projects that I'm working on. Um, I'm going to build. Uh, I've got a few items that I've bought that I'm going to review. Now, I've got no sponsors. Obviously, I'm not in. A, you know, I'm not that high up the um, the chain to be able to get sponsors and all that sort of stuff. But that don't matter. I'm still buying things. I'm still using things. So, what I'd like to do is share that back with you guys. Give you a bit of insight, my insight into what I think, how it works, and I've got a couple of projects on the go. As you can see here, I've got a few few items to, to take you through. So I just thought, you know, why not, you know, branch out a little bit and I'll, I'll play along the way. So what I've got here is I'm going to attempt to make a solar generator. Now, what is a solar generator? Pretty much it is a, a generator without all the, the noise. It uh, runs off a battery, it has an inverter, it has 12 volt outlets. Um, it's able to charge off um, solar panels or off your car or um, in this instance it'll be able to charge off a um, mains, mains power point as well. I looked into buying one so I was looking at um, EcoFlows, I was looking at Blue Eddies and a, a Jackery as well. And I was looking at the the output of these things, they look, they look like a good unit. Um, but one thing played in the back of my mind was something goes wrong inside, that whole unit's pretty well, you know, got to be sent away, get fixed or whatever. And I thought to myself, well, could I build my own? And um, here I am. It's not as cheap as I thought it was going to be, but in the same breath, I could have done this a lot cheaper but I've opted for some um, uh, better products. So I have some Red Arc gear, I have some Victron gear, I have um, Red Energy as a, an inverter, which aren't a bad inverter. And what else have I got here? I've got um, the battery. So I've gone out and I've decided to build my own battery as well. So this is a 130 amp hour lithium um, kit. Now it is from a company um, in Queensland called LifePo for Oz. And they've been great to deal with. They have a lot of good info on um, YouTube as well, on the builds and all that sort of stuff. And you can buy different kits. This one's 130 amp hour, as I think I already said. Um, but they have all different types. Um, and once again, I could have bought cheaper and, you know, could have been just as good. But this, this here is a um, good quality cell. They're a matched cell. It comes with everything I need, including what I've got in here is, um, I've got a, the daily um, 250 amp hour, oh, sorry, 250 amp BMS. And it also has a uh, one amp um, cell balancer as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this up into a couple of different apps. And I'll do one on the, the battery. So it can, uh, like I can show you how I put that together. And I'll then go into the, the solar generator build. The reason I've decided to go for this sort of setup is I was looking into with my Land Cruiser, it's still got the old school AGM. It doesn't have a lot of room in, under the, the bonnet. It's got a little um, like 90 amp hour um, AGM battery up sort of in a pain in the butt spot. Um, so I was looking into doing a full sort of lithium setup in that. And I got to thinking, well, wouldn't it be handy if I could take that system and put it elsewhere? Actually settled on getting an EcoFlow. But what sort of held me back was, they're like an 80, they're talking watt hours, but 
it work out, works out to about like an 85 amp hour battery in it. And I thought I'd like to have something bigger. So I'll say this is 130 amp hour, but the good thing is everything that I've got here can be replaced or upgraded. Everything has, has warranties as well. So if I have an issue with this unit, say, you know, this goes, no worries. I, you know, it's under warranty. I'll send that away, get that fixed. If, you know, that goes, that's got its own warranty. I can, I can work around it. And if I want to upgrade down the track, like well, all the gear that I've got here has got the capability to handle bigger loads. And, you know, I could even buy another um, battery kit put that into a, like a smaller little you know, portable box and I could link that through to, into this system so I could you know, double my capacity. Or I pull that, this battery kit out, I'll get myself a 280 amp hour battery. I'll be able to run all that through the same system. So there's, there's a lot of options here. Um, it's already about $2,000 worth of gear here. What I'll do, I'll show you, I'll show you what I've got here now. So for the car charging, solar charging side of things. I've got myself a Red Arc BCDC Core 40 amp hour. Now this is the non-waterproof one. That's right, it's gonna be in a box, so that don't matter. And it, it, I'll get it open, will be able to give me a 40 amp hour um, max charge back into the battery. Now, it also works off um, the car's alternator, and it works off solar. And what it does is it'll, it'll draw max off the solar, and then it'll draw the remainder off the, the um, alternator, so you're not sucking all the energy out of the alternator unless it has to. So that's a handy bit of kit. And Red Arc, Ben Australian made, you know, they're, they're a good company, good gear. They can be a little bit pricey, but I got that at a good price. So I'm happy to use that. Um, for my AC side of charging things, I've gone with a Victron Blue Smart IP22 charger. So this is a three, this is a three outlet, like three output charger. Now this, so that means it's able to charge three batteries. So you know, down the track, if I want to build the system up, you know, this will do it perfectly. And the good, good thing is. I'll be out, I'll, if I wanted to chuck this into a, a camper or you know, say when I've done the Brumby build, this whole system I can, I can just pick up, chuck in the Brumby, you know, where we go. If I'm out on the farm there and I need, you know, to, need to run something, bang, bang, done. Power out at home, no worries, I can hook it in. I've still got my Honda generator, but um, you know, this, this, is, this, is, this is the way that everyone's going. I thought, why not? So there's my Victron charger. So once again, as, as I do this build series, I'll go a bit more in depth into how it all goes. I've also got myself a Victron um, uh, battery monitor. Now it has its own smart shunt. So this will be able to go off Bluetooth on the phone as well, but you know, it's got a nice little screen there that I can go through. I can put that on the outside of the box. So I'll be able to read everything that goes on. Same as the Victron um, charger. It's also got its own Bluetooth system in it as well, so they'll all hopefully work, work and pair together. So in here is the daily BMS. So this here is the, the heart of the, um, the battery. That's a 250 amp um, BMS, so it's got good current draw, and it also has its own little Bluetooth monitoring system. It comes with the, um, the active balancer. So it's your smart active balancer module. And that just helps keep all your battery cells level um, throughout the charging cycle because each cell has uh, slightly different uh, resistance. And over time they can get out of balance if you don't run a, a balancer. Once again, I will go into that when I do the build. And over here is my inverter. These things are a bit bigger than 
then do your thing. So this is going to be the heart of the the 240 volt setup. Now, Renergy are pretty well priced, and they actually like I've I've I've, I've got one of these for um, mum and dad in their caravan, and it hasn't missed a beat. It's been a really good setup, and it's pure sine wave. It's um, oh, oh, no, don't quote me on this. I think it's like a 4,000 watt um, surge, you know, only, only for a few seconds or so, but just on that startup. It has an inbuilt fan, um, has a remote switch that I can also put on the on the box as well. So that the remote switch that can plug into here, then I'll set that up on the outside of the box so I can switch it on and off. I've got. I've got different cables and fuses. I've got MIDI fuses. I've got I've got more um, 50 amp um, Anderson plugs. I have um, so that that's a, a big um, inline 250 amp um, fuse. And that'll go straight off the battery. I've got bus bars. I've got a big isolation switch. Big isolation switch there. I've got all sorts of bits and pieces. It's one of those things that, when I did the initial cost up, I thought, oh, bang, bang, bang. Oh, look, this won't be too bad. And then <laughs> I need to get cable. I need to get fuses. I need to get fuse holders. I need to get bus bars. I need to get all these miscellaneous bits and pieces. And before you know it, it's like, crap. Okay. Anyway, another cool thing that I ended up getting was um, Switch Boss online. So they have an array of different um, connectors and stuff. So I have got this one here, which is a, that's a dual USB-C. That is a, okay, it's what they call, so USB QC3. So they're a high output USB um, setup. I have standard USB, and then I have two cigarette sockets there. So they're going to be my outputs, so I'll be able to charge, you know, drones, phones, bloody cameras. So this is a, a fuse block. So a little little six-way fuse block. So I'll be able to hook this into my my 12 volt outlets, and it has little LED lights there that'll light up if um, a fuse blows. So you're not having to pull them out and look at the light and then drop them on the ground and whatnot. So yeah, so that'll, that'll be a handy little setup. So I've got all sorts of crap to go through. And as I say, it's, it was just this project that was just a bit of a, a thought in my head and it is turning into a major project. But as I say, oh yeah, I've got some, I've got some um, bus bars there too. So, so yeah, so I guarantee you that I've still got to get more stuff. But um, for now, I've got enough gear here to make a start. So what I'll do, as I say, I'm going to, first of all, I'll do the, the battery um, vid, because I've never done one before, and I thought I'd, I'd take you on the journey with it, and we'll just see how it all comes together. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for joining in, and um, please subscribe, and just, yeah. I'd, I'd appreciate the, um, the follow along and um, I'm open to ideas, thoughts, I guarantee I'm going to do things wrong and um, if, you, if you see me doing something wrong, let me know because um, yeah, it's the only way to learn. So thanks guys, I'll talk to you soon.